Hello, everyone. So um, today is my first day at the Open Data Institute, so this is a nice way to kick off for me. Um, I want to talk about uh, taking our open data dreams to reality, so really taking the um, data that is published on the web, freely available for anybody to use without any commercial restrictions and be able to uh, get good economic benefit from it and other benefits from it. So we hear a lot recently about how open data can bring us all sorts of benefits. Open data can bring us economic growth because um, people are going to take open data and do all sorts of fun things with it and make profit. Uh, we hear about how open data is going to bring us democratic engagement because people will take open data and thereby like politicians. We hear about how open data is going to bring us public sector efficiency by making people work harder or something. Um, and my personal favourite, open data is going to bring us supreme awesomeness. So I'm an engineer, I'm a developer. I look at these kinds of equations and I think, hmm, what's the magic? How do we actually go from here to there? How do we actually make this happen? So thinking about this, um, I think that open data is a tool that we can wield. It's a tool that we can use for good. Um, when I look at the open data projects that are most exciting to me, they are the ones that have a specific goal. They're ones that, for example, want to get people riding bikes more, or they want to uh, get people more aware of the legislation that they have to um, uh, live under. Open data is like a pen knife. It's a kind of tool that's like a pen knife in that you can use it for good things like, you know, taking stones out of horses' hooves or whatever you're supposed to do with pen knives. But you can also use it for bad things. You can use it to stab people, for example. So open data can be used for ill as well as good. It is just a tool that we use and we have to learn how to wield it well, learn how to wield it responsibly. The other thing about open data is that it's a versatile tool. We don't know currently all the capabilities of open data. We're at a stage with open data which is similar to how we were at the beginning of the web where um, obviously it was great we could link information together but all of the uh, all of the benefits that we get from the web now couldn't have been anticipated at that point. So in 10 years' time, maybe we'll look back and we'll think, oh, we should have known that it would be used for porn. <laughs> but right now, there's this whole load of possibility in front of us. And we have to be uh, brave about experimenting with open data, about experimenting how, about with how to use it, um, because we don't know where it's going to lead us. So the Open Data Institute is uh, where we're going to be thinking about some of this stuff uh, in the UK. Um, it was set up uh, by and, and led by Tim Berners-Lee and Nigel Shadbolt. As I say, it's my first day today, and it's also the first day of Gavin Starks, our CEO, pictured here. Gavin, you may know from his work on Amy, and he'll be talking tomorrow about um, how he's used environmental open data in that project to, to um, try and combat climate change. So our main aim at the Open Data Institute is to collaborate with businesses and with the government and the public sector more widely and with academia in order to realise the benefits of open data. And by the benefits we mean economic benefit for sure, but also social benefit and environmental benefit. Those are the things that we want to um, use open data to provide. So we're going to do this, I think, by, by addressing two kinds of sets of people. The first set of people are people who own data themselves. We have to think about the uh, way in which they publish data and try and help them to meet their own goals in the publication of their data. So they need to have a, a process that is, if it is going to be as complicated as this, they need to know how to manage it. They need to know how to... Um, 
they need to be able to grease those, uh, those wheels to make it flow perfectly and so that they can get benefits out of open data themselves. They have to be addressing open data and using business models that uh, enable them to use open data to fill their own goals. So by doing that, then data owners can make the publication of open data sustainable so that we can rely on it to build other businesses. Without that, then it's just people flinging spreadsheets out there. Um, and that, doesn't, that, that won't work forever. We also need to look at data reusers' goals. So um, I know that if you provide people like you with some nice, juicy data, then you can build something amazing with it. Um, but we have to look... First of all, at visualizations, at, at the way that it appears, obviously. We have to think about how it appears in order to help people to make the right decisions, to help them to drive towards the good benefits that can come out of open data. We also have to think not just about the facade, we have to think about the foundations. Um, so in open data terms, that means thinking about how the data is analyzed, um, making sure that we use rigorous statistics in order to draw conclusions from data. We also have to think about building responsibly and carefully so that this doesn't crash down around our heads and injure somebody. So that means thinking about data protection and thinking about privacy. So these are the things that the Open Data Institute will help uh, data reusers to do. Really, it's about building understanding and capability amongst data reusers and about amongst data owners so that they can meet their goals and add value and profit. So that's it. That's the ODI. Um, if you want to learn more, then that's our website. Uh, our offices are in Shoreditch, and they are um, open today. This is where we take possession today. Um, I and Gavin are around uh, during Strata, and if you want to come and talk to me about any of this, then I'd be more than happy. I'm also talking tomorrow about um, the work that I've done on Legislation Gov UK with my colleague John Sheridan, um, uh, which is also about using open data as a tool for benefit for uh, data owners. So thank you very much.